Last week, we bought a sewing machine off Marketplace for 100 Aussie dollars, and then we began learning how to sew. We revamped our window shades, and this week we are headed inside and are redoing our couch cushions for less than the cost of two cartons of beer. If you enjoy this video, consider clicking the subscribe button and follow our adventures over the next six years sailing around the world. Tune in every Saturday morning for a new family-friendly adventure. If you are interested in more content from us and becoming a virtual crew member, consider becoming a Patreon. You can help support us making videos and content for less than the price of a cup of coffee. Hi, we're the James family. Are you sick of your day-to-day -day life? Ever thought about doing something different? Well, we did just that. We bought an unfinished aluminium catamaran and we're fixing her up as we sail around the world. Come along for the journey and click subscribe. Daddy? Mommy? Charlie? Daddy James? Since moving aboard eight months ago, we have noticed that our cushions are very thin and not comfortable. In fact, whenever we sat on them, it felt like we were sitting on the hard bottom. The other thing that we have noticed is that we never use our day beds as day beds. We use the day bed area for backpacks and bags because it's conveniently located next to the front door. Both of these observations have led us to this decision. We are ripping apart the cushions and repurposing the foam from the day bed to double the foam on the cushions and make the seating areas more comfortable. And um, yeah, we'll show you how it goes. Me and Kate both haven't really done much sewing, so uh, yeah, <laughs> we'll tell you what we learned. The first step was to unpick the seat cushions. The backs and zippers are all in good condition, so we will be reusing the backings for all the new seating. The next thing was to cut another layer of foam for each cushion. We are reusing the original foam from each seat, and we are repurposing the foam from the day bed to add an extra layer of foam to each cushion. The next step was to trace the cushion shapes onto the foam and cut out each piece. We tried to use a Stanley knife, a bread knife, and what we found that worked really well at cutting the foam was the hot knife. After the pieces were all cut out, it was time to head to the fabric store and pick up the upholstery fabric that was on sale. Okay, so we picked up the material yesterday from Spotlight. So the total for um, four meters of the gray plus two meters of the red. So this is gonna be the outside color. Um, for the cushions out there. This is going to be for the inside for all of this. So it came out to be $105 with a new spool of thread, high um, high strength thread to use. Um, so that came out to be $105 which is brilliant. We started sewing today and as you can see everything is packed up now because um, Where's the tip? Here it is. I've um, broken, broken the needle. So we're headed back to Spotlight today 
to buy some more needles for the sewing machine. So we thought we had extras, but they're actually hand needles. Um, so the difference is that this one has a hole in the tip for um, here. You can see, probably see. So that's where it's broken off of. Um, so we're gonna go get some more needles. But um, we're gonna combine this trip with checking out a tinny. So we found a few tinnies online, um, checked them out the other day, and another one has just popped up on Marketplace today. So we'll go stop by Spotlight, get some more needles, and then also pop out and take a look at this tinny. Um, and that's where we are at with the, <laughs> the cushions. So um, if you're going to be doing your cushions, just recommend maybe get another needle or two. We picked up a pack of five universal needles from Spotlight. So now we have four extras just in case we break another one. Today's day three of doing the upholstery. So um, yesterday we got these two done. Um, we had a bit of a snag. Um, we are using the backs and the zippers from the old upholstery, um, the old cushions. This is for that bottom over there. Um, yesterday I sewed on this one upside down. So I did one, attached it one long seam and then um and then went to go look at it and realized that i put it on upside down so then we had to un undo it and redo it um so just hitting a bit of a, a learning curve but so far so good they're both looking really really nice this is just the extras from what we're cutting out so right now we're working on the bottom piece for that cushion there um, so we're just cutting it out and this is this is the bottom that we're reusing in the zipper. Um, it's been a bit of a learning experience, um, breaking a needle, putting things on upside down, um, running out of thread on the bobbin, learning how to put the thread from the spool to the bobbin. Yeah, it's been really good, been learning. Very excited to get this all done for like a hundred and fifteen dollars I think now it's like a hundred and five for the material for inside and outside plus eight dollars fifty for more needles because we broke the one and um, yeah <laughs> It's looking awesome. So the final step, um, we're just gonna need to pop back to Spotlight and grab Velcro. Um, so the previous ones had these clips on them, and they'd clip into the back here, like like that. And there's a few clips on the edge. Um, and for the other side, there's also clips. So if we pull this out, there's clips up there. But the problem with the clips is that when people sit on the couches um, and like your back pulls it down, it pulled the clips out all the time. Um, they never actually stayed up on the clips. So we're not gonna do clips for these. We're gonna do Velcro. So <laughs> we were, supposed to pick up velcro the last time we were at spotlight when we broke the needle um we forgot when we were there so um <clears throat> we'll just pop back in the next couple days 
we'll probably be needing to go to Bunnings for something um, and we'll just pop over to Spotlight and grab the Velcro. But, ta-da! <laughs> what do you think of the new couch? Is it comfy? The grand total for the interior cushions came to $100.50. We spent $72 on new material, that was on a 40% off special, $10 on a spool of extra strong thread for upholstery use, $8.50 on new needles for the sewing machine, and we spent $20 on the courtesy car hire from the marina. The courtesy car is hired out in two hour time slots for $10 for each time slot. For a grand total of $20, and in total, we spent less than what it costs to buy two cartons of beer. Thank you so much for watching. If you are enjoying our videos and would like to help support us making videos and content, consider becoming a Patreon. The link is in the description below. And don't forget to click those like and subscribe buttons, and we will see you all next week.